Now, whether or not you do your black and white converting in RAW, like in this shot, I did it in Capture One, one of the greatest ways to, to turn it to black and white or to modify the black and white is with a gradient map. So let me show you. By default, you want your colors on black and white foreground and background color, but you can change it later, no big deal. It's just if you have it ready to go, when you go to gradient map, it's done. It's already added, right? So by doing that, of course, we have a hugely high contrast image. A couple of things I recommend. You can play with the, the gradient stops and we're going to in a second, but for the most part, I switch it from the method of perceptual, which is more recent versions of Photoshop default to that. I put it on classic, which is more linear. And as you can see, what it does is it takes my shot and then makes it basically as bright as the bright part is going to get and as dark as the dark part is going to get. And that does add a nice, beautiful linear contrast to the shot. If I like it, I'm done. However, you open up your gradient and play around with it. So you can make all kinds of changes in here. One of the key changes I like to start with is I click on either node, the black or the white, and I go to the center node and then I move that. So if I move it to the right, I start creating like a high contrast situation where the highlights are limited to, you know, a brighter range, which makes them look a little starker, right? And everything looks deeper or I can slide it to the left of the midpoint and make everything look light and bright with the shadows being minimized, even though everything is still black to white. The sweep of it is modified. It's changed a little bit.